Hi, my name's Luke and I'm in the Drano Melbourne store and I wanna talk about what items are essential for snorkeling. So starting off, obviously a mask, uh, you wanna make sure that fits you really well. It's not gonna leak or have any problems when you're away on holidays. Um, so having something that seals really well will mean that you have a better time diving and you're not playing with your mask so much. Um, a decent snorkel with a purge at the bottom at minimum, um, sometimes a dry top if you need it. Um, but something good quality that again won't fail uh, as you're diving. Mm -hmm. Other part that's really important for a mask is some type of anti-fog and mask cleaner. Uh, you can treat all this at home before you actually travel, but definitely take something like that along with you. It's very ex inexpensive, so it can make a huge improvement on your trip just for a couple bucks there. Um, fins, obviously a good pair of snorkeling fins. Um, this design is, is quite large, um, but it's gonna be really good for just swimming farther and things like that. Um, and going through a little bit of waves and stuff, it's gonna be a lot nicer, as opposed to having those really, really small little fins that they have. Um, all in all, the other things to think about might be either a rash guard. Um, so we offer some very high vis bright rash guards. So someone can watch and see you from like a couple hundred meters away. Um, alternatively, based on where you're going, um, a thermal top might be something that's really nice. So even though it's the tropics um, and the water still might be like 26, 27, or even warmer degrees, um, a thermal top will allow you to dive instead of just that half an hour, 45 minutes, up to a couple hours very comfortably, just with something on your core. Um, it also gives you sun protection as well. So there's a lot of different options there for that. Um, the other thing I think about is some type of bag to transport all of it with. So a dry bag is actually really handy. Um, first of all, if you're on a boat and you do have a camera, a mobile, or any electronics, or even a sweatshirt for after or a towel, you can keep those items dry. Um, I kind of do the opposite where after I dive, I take all my wet stuff and put it into the dry bag and then I can transport that either in my carry-on luggage or just in the back of a car and it's not leaking and going through all, the whole place. So just a nice bag that keeps everything together with. So that's a couple of the basics um, for all your snorkeling stuff uh, that you might need while you're going on a nice trip.